Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Post Facial Brianna here to bring you the introduction to this video. I am walking you through my first time, my first week, doing the Cook Once, Eat All Wheat cookbook. For those of you that don't know what that is, it is basically a cookbook by Cassie Joy, oh gosh, Garcia, I think her name is. I'll, I'll pop a picture in here. The book is downstairs, I am upstairs, so I'm talking without the book. But the joy of this book is you dedicate one singular meal prep day to do a lot of the heavy prepping and then you get meals that you then build in like 10 or 15 minutes or less and then you pop in the oven the rest of the week. So all of the primary cooking for this is done, but you still have to construct meals throughout the week. So all that to say, I decided to try it out. And the first week we decided to do was week 20 with sweet potatoes, chicken, and collard greens. Now, I changed out the collard greens for spinach because we prefer spinach taste. Would I do that if I did that again? I'm not entirely sure, but I wanted to let you know that that is, that's what we did. That was the choice we made, and I also talked you through a couple of other minor changes that I make throughout the week. But this video is going to show you time lapses of actual prep day. In the prep day, I cook all of the chicken for the week, and then I also cut up in cubes specific numbers of sweet potatoes potatoes and then roast other sweet potatoes whole, cook the spinach, which I think I forgot to show you, and make the sauce, which I also forgot to show you because I was struggling hardcore with the blender. So I was so flustered that I didn't film it. So then that is prep day. And then after prep day, you will see me make and create the three meals that we are eating throughout the week. We have a casserole dish, we have stuffed sweet potatoes, and we have a lasagna. So I hope you enjoy the look at my first experience with Cook Once, Eat All Week. Stay tuned to the end of the video to hear my thoughts on the entire week. Monday night dinner 
And here is what we are making out of this book. This is chipotle chicken casserole. Now we don't love really spicy food here, so I am omitting the paprika, but everything else is gonna be the same. Actually, I'm probably going to increase the amount of spices other than the paprika, but what we are using are the entirety of the cubed sweet potatoes, the three cups, which really turned out to be about four cups worth of the chicken breast that I labeled casserole specifically, the sauce that I made that I actually don't think I filmed because I was having a heck of a time with it, but I made a cilantro lime sauce from scratch, fresh ingredients. Um, we need garlic powder, we need onion powder. Oh, this is the garlic powder, this is the onion powder and we need chili powder to go into avocado oil mayo. The book actually has a recipe for avocado oil mayo. I, as you guys know, love Primal Kitchen mayo and I it's the only mayonnaise I use in the house. So I happen to already have avocado oil mayo here. And then we have a little bit of fine sea salt and oh, and and half of the greens that I prepared. They're supposed to be collard greens as a reminder, but I used spinach. So we'll see how that goes. They kind of all wilt and stick together. So we'll see, but this is, this is how it's gonna go. So first I have to make the sauce that I'm gonna coat the chicken in. A quarter cup of avocado oil mayo, which is four tablespoons or 60 grams. Next we add the spices, the chili powder, is only suppo oh, it's supposed to be chipotle chili powder and one tablespoon of paprika and half of a tablespoon of the chipotle chili powder. I'm going to put in a couple teaspoons, maybe two teaspoons of the chili powder. That sounds right. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit more flavor. A little bit more flavor, never hurt anybody, right? And then a half a teaspoon of garlic, onion, and sea salt. Can never have too much garlic, in my opinion. A little bit extra. Your girl likes her spices. I don't like spicy, but I like my spices. We got onion, and then we got salt. And now we just gotta blend this up. Okay. Now that that's all blended. Oh, that's nice. A little too salty. I'm gonna add in a little bit more chili powder. Now, I need to coat the chicken. The next step is just to build the casserole. I only have this one casserole dish, so I hope it works. We'll see. We'll see. It's, hmm. Might be a little large. I need to get a smaller casserole dish, I know. Get that chicken all spread out evenly on there. So I realized that the uh, spinach was supposed to be under the chicken, so I'm just kind of squishing it in there. There we go. And then, <laughs> flaw in the plan, y'all. I have to microwave my sauce because it's olive oil based and it got cold, it's solidified. <laughs> Hold please. There we go. That's all it took was 10 seconds in the microwave. Okay, there it is. Dish number one is done. In just under 10 minutes or so, it looks like. So this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for half an hour, and then it'll be time to eat. 
All right, here's the final product. One thing I will note is that I put the sauce on before it goes in the oven and it was supposed to go on after it comes out of the oven. I don't think that's a big deal, but just an FYI. Okay, welcome to meal number two of three in week 20 of the Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook. These are going to be buffalo chicken stuffed sweet potatoes, except I am actually swapping out buffalo, we don't like buffalo flavored things, um, for barbecue. So I'm taking the exact same recipe, but instead of hot sauce, I'm putting barbecue sauce. And so in here, I have three quarters of what the recipe calls for of butter and then a splash of avocado oil um, because I <laughs> was going to run out of butter, my good grass-fed butter, if I used all of it for this and I don't go to the grocery store until Friday. So, and it's Wednesday. And so there's a little bit of avocado oil in here, mostly butter and the barbecue sauce. This goes on the stove and melts together and then I actually mix in the chicken labeled for the stuffed potatoes. So this is, again is pre-cooked chicken just like I prepped before. And then today we are using the roasted sweet potatoes that are right here. So I will cut a slit in them and stuff them with this chicken. And it's gonna be great. And then you top it with green onions when it's all out of the oven. finished product. I did add a frozen vegetable to the side just to bulk it up a little bit because I'm hungry tonight and I felt like a vegetable was probably a good idea. But this is the final product. You sprinkle the green onion on top. Looks really good. I'm excited. All right, tonight is meal number three. It is Friday night and we are making chicken Florentine lasagna. Something worth noting according to this. I am in fact omitting the mushrooms because my husband does not like mushrooms. Reminder, the collard greens are spinach and, every, oh shoot, I gotta make the chicken broth too. I'm a little behind today, y'all. This is this week has been a hot mess. Um, but we're gonna make it and it's gonna be good.
to inform you that there is a change of plan. There is very obviously not enough wetness for um, this pan. Therefore, I'm adding some Primal Kitchen spaghetti sauce to it because it, otherwise it's not gonna taste good. I anticipate. Which is fine. So that was my week. Recipe number one, the casserole, was actually quite good. The only complaint I could have about it is it was a little bit dry. A little bit dry. I wish it was just a little bit more moisture in there somewhere, but all in all, the flavor was delightful. I really enjoyed it. It lasted us for two days, and it was wonderful. My husband also enjoyed it. The chili swap out was fine. It was great. Regular dark chili powder, no spice to it, but no, like, heat to it, but, like, still flavor, right? As I said in the video, I love spices, but I do not love spicy. So that worked really well. The second one was the baked potatoes, essentially. Um, really good. Really, really good. Definitely needed that extra side dish of cauliflower in there, though, because I, it was just, it was, I, it needed the extra vegetable, right? It needed the extra vegetable. But I love the concept, and the barbecue sauce worked phenomenally well with the sweet potato. It was delightful. 10 out of 10 would eat again. Plan on doing it again. The lasagna. Let's talk about the lasagna. I bought no boil noodles because that's what the recipe called for. The recipe actually called for gluten-free no boil noodles. And I did not use gluten-free. I used regular no boil noodles. And it didn't say like use half the box. So I just presumed you're supposed to use the whole box. Um, even the way I constructed it, which was the way I was instructed to construct it, there was not enough liquid. And then when I added the sauce, it was too much on top and not enough throughout that the, the noodles only cooked part way. It was not a pretty thing. The flavor profile was there and was delicious, but the noodles didn't cook, which made it very hard to enjoy. Um, so the next time I do this, all in all, I really enjoyed the week of food. I liked the flavor profiles. I liked the structure. The nutrition information was great. Um, by the way, the nutrition information is in the back of the book for all of the recipes, which I really love about this book. Uh, but the <laughs> I would do probably boil lasagna noodles and boil them and then use the already cooked noodles because I don't want that to happen again. Um, and also, I'm fully aware that I need a smaller casserole dish. That is on my list of things to purchase in the not too distant future. But all in all, week 20 of the Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook is fantastic. Really enjoyed it. And we'll probably do it again. Have you tried the Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite week of the cookbook is because maybe I'll try that one next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you get to see videos for Vlogtober all month long. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.